Building deck stairs for composite decks is similar to building wood stairs, with just a few slight differences. Here's how to build a set of composite steps. For our deck, we added our decking and railings before building the stairs. See all the steps in the previous video. It's common to build the framing with treated lumber and use composite surface material, which is what we'll do with these steps. Composite deck stairs are typically made from 2x12 stringers spaced about 8 to 16 inches apart. They rest on a solid foundation and are attached to the deck with hangers. They have risers, also called toe kicks, treads, and railings. Stairs should be at least 36 inches wide. You can build your own custom stringers or get pre-cut ones at Lowe's. Whichever you choose, always make sure you follow building codes. To start, Determine the location of your bottom step. Set a straight board or level on top of the decking and measure the height where you want your steps to end. For example, 55 inches. Divide this measurement by seven, the ideal height for each step. Round to the nearest whole number to get the number of risers. In this case, it's eight. Now divide 55 by eight to get the actual height of the risers. For us, it's six and seven eighths inches. If your steps are too short for your comfort, reduce the number of risers by one and calculate again. Since we're using the deck itself for the top riser, we'll subtract one step. For our treads, we're using composite decking planks, making the run about 11 inches, along with wood and composite toe kicks on the back. You can use the total run length to determine where to build your landing support. One common landing is a concrete pad. It has a four inch layer of gravel underneath and extends beyond the steps about 36 inches. Another option is to install concrete footers. To locate them, use the total length of the run. Also mark where the steps will attach to the deck. The posts and footers should be in line with the two outer marks. You can make the footers even with the ground. Check out our posts and framing video for steps on setting posts. When you have your footers installed and the rise and run determined, mark the steps on the stringers with a framing square. Set stair gauges at the height of the rise and the length of the run. Hold the square at the corner of the plank and mark the top run. Slide the square along the plank and mark both rise and run. Continue marking until you have your number of steps. At the top step, subtract the thickness of the toe kick and strike a perpendicular line. This is where the stairs attach to the deck and there is no toe kick. At the bottom step, mark the thickness of the tread to shift the entire set of stairs down. When the treads are installed, this will make the bottom step the same height as the others. Cut the stringer with a circular saw and finish with a handsaw. Use this stringer as a template to mark and cut the others. Next, install a 2x8 below the joist to attach the stringers. Brace it to the joist or beam behind. Attach the posts to the footers like you did for the deck frame. Now, hold the stringers and hangers flush with the top of the 2x8 and mark. Nail the hangers to the 2x8 and attach the outer stringers. At the bottom, screw them to the posts and attach the bottom toe kick. Then install the other stringers. Next, secure posts at the bottom of the stairs with bracing, anchors, and carriage bolts. Now cut all the toe kicks out of wood and composite. Also cut the treads. Attach the toe kicks first, then the treads with matching colored screws. Leave a small gap between the treads. For a cleaner look, we cut extra composite stringers and covered the wood stringers. After the treads are in place, you can finish with the railings. Slide on the post sleeves and glue the collars in place. Hold the bottom rail against the posts, holes centered. Mark the angle at each end and cut the rail. Align the holes with the top rail Transfer the angles, then cut the top rail. Slide the brackets on the bottom rail and mark the bracket location on the post. Drill pilot holes and secure with screws. To install the balusters, use a T-bevel to get the angle. 
mark the balusters, and cut. Next, place baluster inserts in the holes and attach the balusters. Now position the top rail and secure in place with screws. Finish the railings with post caps. Then fill in around the footers with gravel. And now your composite deck is finished. Next, make your deck stand out with accessories. See how to add the finishing touches in the next video. To learn about each step of deck installation, go to lowes.com slash build a deck.